Today I'm going to be working on my 6.0 power stroke. It's a 06F250. I already did the underhood fuel filter as well as the rail filter. And I did do the blue the blue spring upgrade as well. Since I have the bed off, I'm going to be checking the in tank strainer and replacing it. This is the part number for the strainer. It has that little valve there. And yeah. The first thing you want to do is clean up your area around the tank. I'm just going to blow it out with an air gun. Now you want to disconnect this connector right here. You just push the Push the clip and slide it out. The clip is right there. For these, is you just push these in. This one has a blue. This one has a white. Just push these in and it will slide out. There you go. Now you just want to get a big channel lock pliers. And you could knock this loose or unscrew this retaining ring. Or I'm going to be using this, trying this tool, see if it works. Here we go. Got a breaker bar on it and I'm going to break it loose. And there you go. It's broken loose. Another thing you want to do is you want to make sure you put the lines back the same way it is. You could mark your tank right here. So you remember how it went. And there's your ring. Now you take this out carefully. Watch the sender. You don't want to bend it or break it.
and put it in a pan. Right away you can see my valve is missing on this pickup strainer. So you just slide it off. The strainer doesn't really look that bad, but the valve is missing. So this has a brand new valve on it. You just slip it on there. To about how far it originally was on. And that's it. Now you could, if you have a little brush or something, clean this up a little. I'm going to give this a quick clean up with a nylon brush before I put it back in the tank. Bring it back in there good. And then you have these two notches. It's a notch here and a notch here. And on the lid, you have these two here. So you can't really put it in incorrectly. Just line up these with your two notches and put it back in. You put the float in first. And then you just make sure your o-ring is set good, your seal. Feel your teeth. Once you got that back in, just put your wire through your ring. Put your ring back on there. I'm going to snug this so it seals good. That should be good. Okay, it goes like this. <coughs> now you, you connect your connector. Snap that in. Snap that in, and you're done. Everything's good.